This is your documentation for your experience, which is then going to be verified by your clinical preceptor. So what you're going to do with this is, first of all, make sure you have the correct night. You will have one of these for each night that you um, go to clinical. You state the name of the facility here, where you're at, and your name. Remember, HIPAA violations, we don't want to violate HIPAA, so we never put any patient information that could identify them on our sheet, so no patient names. Um, and then, so maybe your very first night, maybe you are helping with two different patients, but you're going to identify what type of study you are doing with that patient. So NPSG is just a first night polysomnogram. CPAP is a CPAP titration, bi-level is a BiPAP titration, or maybe you're doing an MSLT, or maybe you're just doing a NAP study, whatever, you would mark the appropriate one, and you would do that for both patients. Then when you, um, as you go through the night, you're going to mark yes for any item that you observed, or no if you did not observe it, yes if you attempt, attempted it yourself, or no if you attempted it yourself or did not attempt it yourself. So room setup, um, meaning times two as in all the both rooms. Did you set up all the leads, set up the preparation tray, whatnot? If you did not observe the tech do it, if it was set up before you got there, then you would indicate that by marking no. If the tech had you do it, then you would mark yes as an attempted, or if you did not do it because it was already set up, you would um, obviously mark no. Um, to indicate that. And then you could put comments to uh, briefly explain the situation if you felt it was needed. For example, if you marked no for both of these, I would maybe say tech had it done prior to my arrival or facilities policy is that it's set up the day before or something like that just to explain it. The next one, administer or review the sleep questionnaire and verify all the documents are needed are complete. Uh, again, did you observe the tech do that? Yes or no? Or did you do it yourself? Yes or no? Um, the goal of clinical is for you to eventually be doing the sleep study from beginning to end all by yourself. Your very first night, especially if you haven't done any shadowing, I expect you're going to be doing a lot of observing and maybe a little bit of attempting. Um, so Maybe they asked you to read off the questions of the questionnaire. You could say attempted yes, but they did all the other verification of the documents. You would also mark observed yes, and then you could describe that over here in the con comments. Verifies montage setup in accordance with the AASM guidelines. Now, most systems there that the montages are already pre-set up for you, so you may not observe a tech set those in, but what you can do yourself is review them and see what the settings are, jot them down, and check your manual and see if they match. Then you could say, yes, you did that. Orient the patient to the facility and explain the procedures. Again, identify your role in that. Observe one full patient hookup, yes or no attempt patient hookup yes or no so maybe you watched one and then maybe you performed one yourself um, perform the biocal on each patient and then perform the light out procedures and again using any comments here that are needed um, over here we have inserts appropriate tech comments during the study again your first night I don't expect you to probably be doing that but you should be doing that fairly consistently after the first night or at least um, discussing with the tech um, what you should be doing completes the documentation and any charges some facilities will not let you do the charges or documentation and, and just indicate that if that's appropriate perform the lights on procedures unhooks patient and cleans the rooms as needed according to your facility and whatever they have you do. So once you complete that top portion, then you will ask your preceptor to sign it, including their credentials, and then if they could provide an email address. My biggest issue when I get these is sometimes when you take photos of these, I can't make out their writing, so make sure it's readable um, when you upload your, your document into the assignment tool. Um, I need to report that to our accrediting agency. So that's what that's for. Then um, for each night on your documentation, I will have a different set of objectives for you. Um, so notice on your first night, your objective is to familiar yourself with the facility by reviewing their protocols, 
identify sleep stages, respiratory events, artifact, limb movements, and EKG arrhythmias. And with this, as you're watching the study, I would expect you to um, talk with the tech and try to identify the different stages of sleep the patient's in. If you see a respiratory event, um, point it out to the tech. Um, you're checking yourself and making sure you're seeing what you think you're seeing and they're giving, they can then give you feedback. Um, number three, demonstrate appropriate timing and content of tech notes throughout the slides, or study, excuse me. And then you have two questions to answer. Um, and these, if you want to just type these into the assignment when you upload, that's okay. Or if you want to write it out on the paper, I'm fine with whatever as long as you get it to me. I am not picky on, on how you get it to me. So the first question is, describe the facility's basic protocol for performing a diagnostic study. I am providing some items for you to specifically describe. Now, you might not think it's different from one facility to another, um, but it can be. And so... I want to hear about your facilities and also I want to know that you're asking these questions and that you know how to handle these situations on subsequent nights. So after your first night you should know the answers to this. First of all, what is the process for when the patient needs to use the bathroom after the study has started? Do you keep your study running? Do you hit light? Um, do you have a special marker on your um, system that you click? Um, do you just put it in a tech note? on paper or do you document it on the computer? Describe that process. What are the lights out and lights on procedures? Do you do biocals with both of them? Typically, um, you're supposed to do a biocal prior to lights out and then after lights on because you use that to verify um, your signals. Like for chin, you're, you compare the study to those. Um, so I'm just curious about how your facility does that and again that's something you would need to know anyway. Do you keep a 30-minute patient assessment log during the study or other some other similar type of documentation? Some sleep centers will have you every 30 minutes identify the SpO2, the body position, the heart rate, and um, maybe their CPAP pressure or whatever. Um, not all facilities do this. Again, this is something you should know if that facility does that and you need to know how to do it so on night two you can do that yourself. Remember, it's a privilege to be in the sleep center with them. You need to show them that you're eager to learn and motivated and you want to be doing this yourself. So um, the sooner you can start taking over some of the duties for that sleep tech, the, the better. Um, next, is a sleep aid offered if the patient can't sleep? What is the specific policy regarding this? What determines when to wake the patient in the morning? Does the patient decide what time they need to be up? Or does the facility have a standard time everybody gets up? What are the tech's duties after waking the patient but prior to leaving the lab? Again, your goal is to be doing the sleep tech's job before you're done with clinical. So the more of this you know and that you can do for them, the better for you, the more independent you will become. Okay, and then there's one other question. I couldn't fit it on that page, but outline the appropriate timing and content of tech notes throughout the study. So hopefully this is something you've discussed with your uh, preceptor, and so you can just tell me a little bit about that. Okay, so once again, once all of this is complete, this part um, with the signature and credentials, these first two pages, if you wanna just take a photo with your camera and then upload the photo into the assignment tool, that's perfect. Um, your questions, you can write them on here if you want, or you can just type them into the assignment tool, whichever is easiest. Again, you will have different objectives and different questions to complete for each night of clinical. Um, so I, if you have any questions, please post them in our virtual classroom. Um, and this concludes this video.